is, she is Princess, my angel, my queen and my friend The very beat, the very beat in my heart My lover Hey y'all, welcome back for another vlog It's been a minute since I vlogged A minute, look how grown she is it's the teen life, mean life. 16 year old, or 15, my bad. I'll be 16 soon. Cheers. No soon, it's been a couple months. Get ready. <sighs> I said on my last video I was going to vlog more, period. And I figured why not this be the time since I'm not doing vlogmas, I'm not doing 12 days of Christmas, and then homegirl be out of school. But isn't she cute? Damn, my camera all dirty, I don't know. It's been a minute now, wait, this is ghetto. It's been a minute, it's been a minute. Look at, you like a little girl. You look how you used to look when you were smaller. I'm gonna find a picture no, right here. No, don't. I bet you my hand is just it. being left up here with no picture. Exactly. Cause I can't find it. We're on our way to school. Yeah, today is going to be an eventful day. Really? I, ha <laughs> I have to work. And I practice and I have to go to church tonight to run through for Sunday because we're in a new series amen amen so that's it I just want to pop in and say hey I need to fix the settings on this I look real purple purple you're just so cute I can't The kiddo is dropped off. One thing about me, <laughs> I'ma run me an errand after the gym, okay? All right, all right? Throw you on a little deodorant, you be all right. All right, the older I get, the less I give a. You was thinking it, I just didn't say it. We're finna go to Target really quick. I need to work, but I'm in the area of the Target that I wanna go to. So I'm like, yeah, we finna go to Target real quick. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You got it. You take it back. Oh, good. Yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, okay. I've been on the phone with my mom this entire time, and I have not been able to focus. So I need to focus on what I need so I can get out of here. I'm currently in this section because I really need better storage stuff. I need something. Yeah, something like this. No, no, I think I'm gonna go home. Before I go, I just wanna say that I'm probably gonna go darker on my hair. I mentioned this on Instagram, but I'm tired of her. I don't really enjoy the lack of melanin, you know? I don't really want light skin hair. And it's no shade, you know what I'm saying? No shade, but I like dark hair on me. I feel like it, it doesn't wash me out. And mind you, like, I'm crusty right now. You know, I came in here, no chapstick, ashy. It's cause we family. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back dark. I'm not sure if I'm ready to go back like jet black, but I'm thinking I wanna go back to like a chocolate, or not back, but I wanna try a chocolate brown with like a little like red hues in there, a little burgundy. I've been feeling like, <sighs> burgundy-ish a little bit and typically I don't like burgundy hair I went through that little phase and I it was like my thing in high school but now I'm just like look <laughs> I'm, I don't want I don't want that and I definitely don't want red I feel like red doesn't really compliment me so I feel like it's either black or dark brown but like a little a little subtle red uh you know hue that's the word I'm looking for then I think after that we're gonna go black now I made the mistake of putting some mousse, mousse, excuse me, putting some mousse on my hair. God was not in that. <laughs> I won't say the brand name, but I was like, never again will I use a mousse to refresh. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. So my, my puff at the moment, first of all, it has no definition. It's just there, but my puff looks very, or I'm sorry, it feels like I have Afro-G on my hair. Like, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. That Afro-G protein treatment, <laughs> that's how it feels. And I'm not happy about it. But anyway, I told you guys my plans. So we went to Target. I got a little fluffy, cute little jacket. I've been wanting one, but they didn't have my size last time I checked. Got some hangers, because we were always in need of those. And then I was on the phone with my mama. So, like, when I'm on the phone with my mom, I, I just be 
I just be letting the Lord lead me. I don't even really have a clear direction on what I'm doing and what I'm there for. And so whatever conversation made me feel like I need to turn right, then I turn right, you know? Could have been a 30 minute trip, honestly. But you know, your girl was just lagging along like she ain't got no plans, you know? Just ignorant. I need to wash my hair. So I think I'm gonna film. 1,000 feet, use the right lane to turn right. I was in the right lane. Today is Thursday. So I typically like to do my hair if I know I'm gonna have like a, a pretty like cool weekend. Typically we'll do my hair like on a Thursday. So that is like that second third day hair um, come church and everything. And then I might go see Christmas lights Saturday with some friends and Eddie and Camila. So you know I just want my I, I want my hair down. You know what I'm trying to say? And and moisturize. Amen. Because right now I don't know what I'm gonna use yet. Because if you saw my inner sense video, shout out to you. Um, and shout out to y'all that was like, yo. Try inner sense. I tried it. I liked it. 10 out of 10. I need to say that, Jill, because that's almost $30, right? And we budgeting over here, amen? I'm going to use what I already have. So it's probably going to be either combat gel. Ooh, I might put my com. Ooh. <laughs> I already filmed a combat gel video. I think I might just insert that here. In five, four, three, two. I guess how you come out this for? not me doing a voiceover what hey guys so i really wanted to bring to you guys combat gel now i've been using combat gel for a little while now and i really really enjoy it and so i filmed this a while ago and just never edited it yeah okay so i bought two the army and the strawberry and i was just kind of looking to see if the ingredients what was all in it if it was different all that broke out my olaplex number no. nine serum just for a little oomph I do not use leave-ins when trying um, products, but I had already, did I already try this? Yes, I already tried the pink one, but not the army one. Okay, um, so the consistency, y'all, I really love it. It's thick. Now, if you don't know the creator of this gel, she pretty much um, created this for, I think, slick backs, but you can definitely use it on other styles. It is thick. I love that. If you like thick gels, this is a gel for you, baby. Now, I am excited right here, but it's not because of the application, okay? The application really is just so par. What I'm excited about right here is the fact that my hair is being wet. Yes, way down. Yes, that's what I look for when doing my wash and goes. It tells me a lot. I'm going to get longevity out of my style. That is just how my hair is. Now, I went ahead and got a little bit more. You can really be kind of easy with the gel, but I will say your hair should be wet. Now, you know how I am. If you don't know, now you know I do not need to do my hair on soaking wet hair. That's why I said you can't listen to every single body. You got to do what works for you. I like to do my hair on damp hair. However, this gel requires wet hair, okay? For me, at least. Now, I did coat my strands. I was very excited about that. I'm like, okay, I see you, I see you. As I'm moving forward to the top portion of my hair, it's still cooperating for me, amen. Um, the application really isn't like amazing for me, meaning I don't have much slip. My resistant areas were very resistant with this gel, which is so funny. So I had to take my dimming brush to further smooth and just kind of help define it because those parts of my hair just don't, they don't like me at all. So anywho, this is how my hair is looking. It's time to just kind of let it set for 30 minutes to an hour or so. Came back, this is how it's looking. I wasn't like blown away. So that's why my face is looking like that. But we went ahead and diffused with my Joan Carol, Carol, Carol Clayton. Um, and this is how my hair is looking. So I took some ghost oil by Verb. It's just out of habit. I don't really need the oil. But my hair was very, very crunchy. It was shiny, but it wasn't like amazing at this point. But when I began to stretch, my God, when I began, my God, when I began to stretch out my hair, <laughs> y'all, I really, really enjoyed it, and it, it has been consistent for me because sometimes gels like wet lime will act right one day and the next they won't. So I think I've used combat gel maybe for a good five or six times, and each time my hair has come out really, really well to where I'll repurchase, which I have. I've already purchased three bottles of this stuff already. So picked out my hair. The shine is there. The definition is there. The crunch and hold is there. I can get maybe five plus days. Um, and you don't really need a whole lot. So I do have like body, as you can see. Now I love this thickening spray. I don't need it y'all, but I just, I mean, I could use it, you know what I mean? But like, I love it for the smell. So it's not really doing anything, but I was just including it here just 
just in case y'all want to see it or whatever. But everything will be linked down below in the description box. I use about that much. Love this stuff. It is definitely one of my top three. It is 5.15 in the morning, headed to the gym. <clears throat> Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So if you don't know, I go to the gym at dark 30. I typically try to leave the house at this time. Earlier is ideal, like I would love to get to the gym at 4 a.m. But I don't get up until 4.30. I love going to the gym super early in the morning. I love going when it's dark and leaving when the sun is rising. When I first started going, um, or going back, I was going at like 8.30. 9 o'clock in the morning and then um, I started going earlier just to have more time in my day and now you know you see the same people and so you speak you become friends I became cool one, one the well, excuse me it's early I became friends with one of the girls and um, we worked out together so I like going at this time we didn't attempt to do legs today I try to train legs twice a week so quads and ham quads and glutes and then hammies and glutes but i don't know y'all i think i might just do a cardio day today um i need to really up my cardio Anywho, yeah i don't know if i'm gonna take y'all in there my husband that's what eddie be doing he has a whole tripod that is not me okay <laughs> I barely whip out my cell phone in the bathroom i'm trying to take little little selfies in the bathroom so i walk in i'd be like Make confidence before I do that. Okay, that's just me being transparent. But it be so many people, it feel like the morning time. And while I'm here for it, I'm not. Like, why aren't you asleep? Am I even in the lines? I don't even know. I feel like this girl's about to get out. Actually, let me go move over here. Because this nigga look a little, excuse me. This dude look a little, he look a little scurry. Is she gonna get out? Y'all, I need a tripod thing. Oh, get up. I love coming out of the gym and it's sunrise. I feel like I started my day with the intention of bettering myself, sticking to the plan, getting my life, all right? Giving God his praise, putting me first. Say, Mond. Can we catch him? Can we catch him? Hi. Bye. I did was cardio today. I didn't feel like doing anything. Cardio day, man. Ugh. It's always nice to mess with your significant other. These angles are gonna be ratchet until I get my life. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. I'm here, guys. I'm here in there to do hip thrusts let that one do legs i'm not i have a banana because i never eat anything before the gym because obviously it's so early and i'm just not someone who likes to eat um before i work out but i came across this girl who was like you're actually raising your cortisol levels making it hard for you to achieve your goals now weight loss is nice i've lost weight but it's not like my main goal. I'm trying to be a baddie. <laughs> um, no, before I'm just trying to build muscle, um, lean muscle. We have some time until I take Camila to school. It's only 6.40 in the morning. Ah, oh, I love it. It's such a blessing. It just feels so good to be a morning person. <laughs> I may look crusty. I may feel dusty. But. I thought I was gonna be able to give you some bars. Good thing she don't get paid for thinking. Y'all, these angles, just work with me. Okay, work with me. Let's be employees because this angle is not gonna be very flattering until I get my life out. Oh, excuse me, hold on. Let me go ahead and order. Oh, 
I'm so hungry today. And it's not even 7 o'clock and I'm hungry. Like, that's a shame. I'm trying to do better with my carbs. I've been having pasta. That's what I was saying. I was having pasta and bagels like every day. And, and I've come too far by day leaning on the Lord and getting my body composition down. I don't need. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, yes, you're. Oh, hello. Mm. I don't know how my settings are on this camera. Like, I barely use it, and I looked so light skinned right now. That's not what it is over here. Yesterday, I bought um, this, like, fleece. Ooh, the lighting is really bad. I'm sorry. I bought this fleece. Oh, my God. I bought this jacket from Target yesterday. Um, and I've been wanting it, but they never have my size. Child. I bought it. Like, oh, they got my size. They got extra ones. I went to a different Target. I get home. That mess say extra small. I'm like, either I'm getting, because this happened to me. I bought this, um, like, little matching set from a place called My Outfit Online. Kind of like a little expensive, in my opinion. Um, my manager posted about it, Black Friday sale. So I was like, oh, this is giving very scent, um, Sims, very skims. I love skims, okay? Um, very skims, blah, 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 blah. I get it, I ordered this set, which was like, it was on sale. But the sweats are very nice quality. And the shirt was like a matching, like, you know, fitted like skims, kind of like dupe or whatever. But still rather, you know, pricey. I get that the mess was in a medium. I am not a medium, okay? Your girl is a large on a good day, all right? I got hips and... I do. <laughs> and thighs. Like, medium, what was I... I don't know what I was thinking. So I had to give it to my daughter. I know this is not your really your style, but I really don't want to take this back. Wear it for me, please. Just take it. I was so hurt because I really wanted... I was looking forward to that set. And it, it took, like, two weeks. Or something to get me, you know, we so Amazon, we so Amazon spoiled, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get that mess, order again the next day. I'm not used to stuff being, you know, two and three weeks to get to me. Like, where did they do that? Where did they do that? It's not of God. I don't like, I don't like that. I pull it out and I'm like, I know this ain't no extra large. To the tag, it said medium. I said, oh my God. Anyway, she wore the shirt yesterday or whatever. I'm like, fine, at least you're wearing it. I mean, Merry Christmas. Happy birthday. <sighs> Happy Hanukkah. Girl, I was mad. I was mad. You understand? And so then this happened. I'm like, what is going on with my brain? Am I moving too fast? Or is this early signs? Oh! But yeah, I need to go back to Target. And I hate taking stuff back. I hate, re I will take the L. I'm just that person. But I've been wanting this jacket. So I'm like, Target is down the street. And then I meant to bring it with me this morning, but I'm failing at life. Is that better? Y'all, I was looking white and blue this entire time. I'm so sorry. Go to the tailor and get my jeans tailored. I bought some jeans from Forever 21. And for some reason, I guess I think I'm bigger than what I am because I went to the plus size section, which sometimes I typically do because I like for myself to feel oversized. I'm not gonna get oversized in the regular section because I'm already thick, amen? But these are way too big. My waist, it, it, it was like, and it's long. I was like, girl, you are not. In my mind, I'm thinking I'm like 5'11". The girl is sitting at a 5'3 and a half. And I don't understand why I think I'm big and tall when I'm really round and small. <laughs> Goodbye. I need to get home and shower and get my life. I need to create some content too today.
but anyway, we are here for rehearsal because our child is in a play at our church and today is all day rehearsal. Today is till 4 p.m. We've been here since 6.30 6 in the morning. So Eddie is currently door dashing some food to the church house. They do provide, uh, I believe, pizza for the children. So they're preparing over there. You see Camila is right there with the red. Please hold. That's what we're doing. So we are tired. My battery's gonna die. Um, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I don't know what day. Today is Monday. We are headed to Eddie's favorite gym. Um, bodybuilding type of gym. It is 5.14 in the a.m. of getting footage in the gym like Eddie can. And if them really love you, then them, they lying to us. Thank you. Thank you. I went to bed at like 7.30 last night. Like 7.30 last night. Because church just drained me. And this is not like an everyday thing. We are really involved in church. Y'all know, if you don't know, now you know, baby, baby, baby. But um, since Camila is in this uh, Christmas program, now my church believes in not perfection, but we are gonna give the best. Giving you the best that I get. You know, and so with that, we have lots of rehearsals. We have, you know, to get with the lighting people. Um, I'm taking care of media side. Um, you know, we have to worry about the camera shots, the angles, making sure that the mics work, because each kid is mic'd up that has speaking parts. Camila is the narrator and, a big intricate part of the show. Proud of her, love it. But let me tell you something, I'm drained. Everybody's not gonna like what I'm gonna say. What time is it? Do I have time to get into this little rant? I do, amen. I feel like when you grew up in church, that's where we learn our people pleasing skills. Ah. I wanna talk about it though. <laughs> we learn people pleasing skills from church because you just learn how to please your parents, you learn how to please people you learn how to please the people that you're around you learn how to do a lot of stuff when it comes to pleasing other people we don't talk about it maybe people do but i ain't heard nobody talking about it and it's toxic come on tell them tell not church but just the aspect of freaking people pleasing the stuff is toxic okay and you have to really really work on it i refuse like as i'm closing out this decade of my 30s there's just so many things that i refuse to bring into my 40s i just i refuse and although people pleasing is gonna be something that i will struggle with just like most people because as humans especially if you are empathetic and especially if you are 
you know you just you want to see your friends or people in general smile and whatever whatever you are going to struggle with people pleasing in some aspect it's just a part of human nature i believe unless you're just a cold-hearted individual i think at some point you will people please it doesn't always have to be toxic you know what i mean we love throwing around that word okay <laughs> my goal is to make sure that i am very much so self-aware of it when it's happening because i believe that i am there um i've been there i've been that girl she is that girl uh-huh uh, but it's just so imperative that i find the balance that's that's what we're doing as we in 30s it's finding the balance for me so i felt so bad because one of my homegirls who was a close friend of mine her daughter was performing at something and then also my pastor's daughter was performing at something i love those kids like i love them but i had to i was just like i was i was literally at church i woke up at 4 30 in the morning we did not get home till 4 30 in the afternoon so basically i woke up before sunrise and we we're getting home while sun was setting all at one place the church the church but only just because like i said camila is in a performance but they had a performance at seven that night and i'm like for me to get back home it just would have been too much and essentially i had to check myself like people that are involved in church we need an extra day because listen it's a lot <laughs> if you're involved in church we don't get no rest amen we don't get rest yeah i, I felt bad because i'm like do i choose myself or do i choose showing up for other people because I love those people, you know, and you want to support and you want to do this. But I was like, I, my week will be jacked up. Like, my Monday today will be jacked up had I gone. Because I passed out at home at like 6 o'clock. I got in the bed, didn't even wash my face at like 7.30. Like, I was beat. Because I had a busy Saturday. So yeah, I'm just struggling to make sure that I acknowledge where I am, but also, you know, still show the the importance to other people for to show that you're showing up for them, you know? But as sometimes you just have to be like, I, I can't, I can't make it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I ain't gonna do it. So that's where I was. But yeah, I felt bad. I ain't gonna hold you. These are young people. I think one is like 12, the other one is 13, 14. So they don't always understand, you know, but I know that their parents do and stuff like that, but y'all it just be it be hard sometimes really trying to show up for people but just being mindful of all the crap that's on your plate too you know what i mean because right now i'm just like i'm just drained I'm, I'm really tired mentally and then if i'm tired it's gonna affect you know everything else um because I was like you know we don't have the days to reset what's a reset i don't know what those i don't know what that is can someone tell me how to reset i'm like we need three day weekends that's what essentially what we need because i envy y'all um, while i love church while i love jesus i like i love my church i love working in media i love it i wouldn't do it if i didn't trust and believe um and i'm so close to my pastor it's like one of my best friends um so it's like i don't see myself doing anything anything else but i'll be drained okay I ain't gonna hold you. I be tired. I be tired. I be tired. So, anyway, that was my little rant. We are gonna head to drop Camila off at school. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get my day started. I need to sign some contract for work. Check some of my emails because I have been slacking on my emails. Oh my God. Shout out to y'all who sent me emails based on my last um, video. That was quite an emotional, vulnerable, <clears throat> vulnerable video i appreciate the love so much oh my gosh like i can't even i can't even read i, I think i already said this in the, in the vlog earlier but it's just i'm so grateful for y'all so I, some of y'all did reach out via email because you thought i wasn't gonna see your comment i appreciate that um because you know that is my business email but you know i appreciate the love y'all was like i don't care i need for you to read my message and i i i i, pre I respect that thank y'all so much for the love man so so much for the love i'm trying to get back into the swing of vlog stuff like vlogging is not natural for me right now with the camera so i need to get in the groove of that when i'm gonna post um if it's gonna be like once a week or what is it gonna be i don't know yet um i need to do that i need to edit um 
and we need to clean up because our house is a little atrocious. Um, let me show y'all. Camila took a picture of us at church. It's so cute. I cannot. Look at how cute my baby is. My baby is so stinking cute. Like, why are you this cute? Why? That is my baby. That is my baby. I, I thank God for my baby. I thank God for my baby. Anyway. Um, I love y'all. I feel like I'm I'm just rambling at this point. Hopefully this is over 10 minutes of footage. One, she is, she is.